Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Outer Wilds tonight. We, uh, looked into the old spooky dark bramble and got chomped by a couple space fish and, and did all the needful there. Um, there's still plenty there to explore and a few other things that we need to also check out. Um, but let's get right up into it, because we don't have a lot of time in each loop, as it turns out. So let's go consult our computer. See which things might be the most readily available to check out immediately. Um, oh, and we also unlocked a few other things that apparently did not register last time. Okay. Um, subsurface energy readings. Oh, right, the quantum thing, right? Uh-huh. Uh, fissure in the ice on the interloper's sunward side. Send it inside it. Oh, right. We've got to find that stuff. Um, land on the interloper not long after its arrival in the solar system. Shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings. Uh, uh, lost contact with the other chance to send it. Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll do that eventually. Where was the gravity cannon? I don't remember where that was. I feel like that was on maybe Ember. Uh, Ember, um, Ember Twin there. Uh... Uh, still gotta go head back to Hang City. Gotta go back to Ash Twin once all the sand is gone. Seems like a good idea. Um, definitely gotta go back to Dark Bramble and find a way under uh, Giant's deep, like current thing <laughs> that we can't bypass. All right, let's let's head into space first. That seems to be the first step towards many things here. To space we go, and to space we shall return. All right, um, let's go. I gotta remember to reset this since it doesn't like to keep it. Uh, no controls, flights, lock on, rebind. There we go. Okay, um, let's go to. Uh, you know what? Let's go to uh, Ember Twin. It's the closest. Most likely to yield the uh, most amount of time that we're able to spend in a loop on a thing. Okay, perfect. I'm not 100% sure where I want to land on this thing, but I'm pretty sure I want to land on something here. Uh, maybe right here, like right next to the thing. So I want to find the entrance to the cavern, if I can. Like, almost right away. And I think it was nearby. Sort of. The, uh... The distress pod, or the distress signal thing. Um, I don't remember, actually. <laughs> I know there was some stairs and shit that we had to crawl around. Um, in order to get into the city itself. Um, might actually be down here. Let's see. Oh, probably shouldn't try to wedge ourselves into the canyon, though. Instead, let's try to just... Yeah, here we go. It was like this little... This little thing here. There we go. Okay, so we'll just set down, like, right here. Good enough. Set down right here. Go around. I know we need to... Oh, hopefully that sand bit doesn't throw our ship off the area, but I guess we'll find out when we try to come back and see it gone. Ouch. Kind of shattered my ankle there. It's fine. Okay, but once I get into the city, I'm not 100% sure uh, which bit I want to explore. I guess the, the gravity cannon, maybe? Or the, the top floor, or, or whatever. Let's make sure we're doing the right one. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. Uh, here. That's right. Past here, hold left. Um, when you get to the columns, then you go up. Oh no, well, there's a whole bunch more we need to do first. Kind of crawl down a bit. Hey, Gamer, how you doing? see it. Okay, so yeah, here. Stick left along the sandfall, right? 
And then you get to the columns, look up. Go up there. Alright. And then we go behind the other sandfall, and then that's the Sunless City, right? Or uh, across this first, I guess. And then behind the sandfall. And don't touch cactus, right? Uh, oh wait, did I want to come down here? <laughs> I don't think I wanted to come down here. No. I wanted to, in fact, cross over there. There we go. And then behind this same fall. Okay, there we go. And then open the door, and then we're more or less here. Um, alright. Let's light up a few paths here. Oxygen. Um, which one was which? Inglefish Overlook. Uh, Stepping Stone. I think I want to go back there at some point. High Energy Lab. Eye Shrine. Up there. I don't know that we got a, a chance to check this out before. Oh, yeah. Actually, we did because I remember dealing with the uh, the ghost matter and just kind of winging it across and we're fine um, right because I think this led to the gravity canyon yeah okay yep now we're good now I remember what we did last time um, I don't remember if I I definitely don't want to go down there but was there another uh, let's see okay there's no ghost matter over here Curiously enough. Um, and I don't think we can go down there. So, I think maybe this did just lead to the gravity cannon and that was it. Which is fine. I mean, I wanted to be here anyways. Um, because now we want to recall the, the, the launchy pod thing and get in and launch ourselves out into space again, and then not die. <laughs> not die by uh, recalling ourselves too quickly. Okay, that's right, because the cacti uh, blocked that off. Let's see here. Um, what was the thing? Okay, activate to the left. Call it back to the right. Uh, well, let's get it back here first. Okay, and then we want to get in the the pod itself. There we go. Um, they were talking about the situation being dire and whatever. Okay, now I have no idea how we're gonna get to this comet. Um, right? I guess? Uh, no, left. Left launch. There we go. Oh. Uh, that called us back. Center was to call us back. Okay, left to launch. Oh, I don't want to go into the sun, though. Uh, um, no idea where this is going to take us. I guess it's just... Oh, I guess now we're held in orbit. Um, Alright, left then. Uh, we probably want to get called back. And now we're back on the surface. Left to launch. Okay, now we're on our way. I don't know where we're going. Or how long it's going to take us to get there. Um, hard to say. Feeling we're not going to get to where I want to be. Hey, Firetron. How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, hear about the shutdown Tango Gameworks team made Hi-Fi Rush? Yep. Heard about that. Um, wait, right was recall, right? No, right was something else. I don't know what right did. No 
idea what some of these controls are doing. Um, perhaps there's another... thing that we can do with this eventually. I don't think I know enough about this thing to appropriately control it. Because we are... in orbit, it looks like. In orbit around the sun, but I don't know what's happening, so, alright. Blah, 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 talking about how dire shit is, right? Um, what? Wh right. <laughs> um, okay, let's go back up there. Uh... Oh! oh. <laughs> I think I launched into something. I'm not sure what, though. <laughs> It spooked me, though. It spooked me. Okay, maybe the gravity cannon is something we deal with later. Uh, once I know what the fuck to do with it. Uh, I don't think we filled in anything from this, did we? No. Although we can read about it now that we know where it is. Generates a strong upward gravity field. Uh, okay, you know what? Mark that location. Uh, wait, is this something different? Maybe I just need to go to the comet without recalling this thing. But, let's go to the gravity cannon again. I probably fucked up. I probably fucked up. There. It's 10 kilometers away. Is it really 10 kilometers away? I thought it was just on Ember Twin. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Okay. Alright, good. So I don't need to go through the, the city to get to it this time, at least. Plus, there's an easy way into the city from the gravity cannon, so this this seems good. We've sort of relearned to think, oh, that's gonna slam me into Ash Twin, isn't it? Or is it autopilot gonna be smart enough to not? Probably not. Let's go around ourselves. <laughs> okay, there it is. Perfect enough who for who it's for, which is me. Alright, now we can just kind of... Our ways into here. And here we are. Okay, uh, call is on the left. Or no. Oh, I wonder, actually, if... If we can use the gravity cannon to maybe shove the Ash Twin away, that would be interesting. So we gotta, like, wait for this to... to point at something, but I'm not sure what I want it to point at. I guess we just get in and go <laughs> hope for the best. Um, yeah, because whatever we're pointing at really is what we're going to slam ourselves into at high velocity. Uh, it's really hard to tell, like, what's our, what's our escape vector here, and should we wait to line it up with something, or should we just go? Because the comet is all the way the fuck... Oh, it's actually not too far away. Huh. It actually seems a lot 
closer to the sun this time than it did last time. Maybe, oh, maybe it's one of those things that's not affected by the loop. Unless it hits the sun and then it resets. I don't know. Hard to say. Okay, so there's the... There's the sun. There's Ash Twin. Um... Are we gonna be able to see this motherfucker? Okay, there it is, sort of. Right there. Go! Yeah, it's over. It's over there. Alright. Stop. I don't recall. Oops. Uh... I fucked up. That was maybe my best shot, and I, uh, did a not good thing. Yeah, because now it's all the way over there. Although we should be getting closer to it. Uh, alright. Recall. Or, center recall, right? And then we'll get another shot at this. Soon-ish? <laughs> Once we whip around the sun one more time. Oh, wait, what the, uh, there, recall, I think we got off kilter a little bit there, oh, and we probably missed our chance, yep, there it fucking goes, damn it, uh, alright, launch please, womp, I don't know where that's headed, where are we headed, uh, uh, well, that's headed into Giant's Deep. I don't want to go to Giant's Deep right now. In fact, I'm going to see if we can do something else with this gravity cannon. Uh, how do I get off this thing? There we go. Okay, one. Launch. Into the sun, I guess. <laughs> Whee! Okay, and then I want to wait until maybe Ash Twin is right in front of it, and then maybe the gravity cannon will be strong enough to push Ash Twin away. Or if we just maybe leave it on. So it does seem like it's continuous. So, I am curious if that will maybe move Ash Twin out of here, stop it from filling our shit up with sand, and then we can explore at a more leisurely pace. I doubt it, but, you know, give it a try. side of the thing. That's not the gravity can. Okay, there. There it is. Uh, doesn't seem to be doing nothing. Alright, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, oh, worth a try. Um, Alright, where's the comet then? Oh, it's way the fuck out there. Oh, I see. So on its on its second orbit, it probably slams into the sun because the the sun's doing an expand. Uh, so it's pointing at the sun, sort of, and now we're kind of around the sun, and now we're rotating. And once we get to a little bit to the left of Giant Steep, I guess. Is there, then we launch. Maybe right there. So I don't know how much control we have over this thing. So all we can really do is launch and presumably stop, because that's what the right hand bit does.
Actually, I don't know what the right hand bit does. Okay, well, I don't know how much time we have left in this loop to go exploring in the city, at least. But now that we've got an easy way here... Uh, I think. Where was the... It was just up above, right? Or was it down below? There's a hole in the side of the stone that got me in here. I don't remember where it was. It must have been up above, because this was the door this door was all blocked up by cactuses. So that's no good. Not terribly useful. Ah, right, it must be. Up above here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Just pop back into here and now we're practically in the city. But, we might be too far into this loop where the sand is, uh, perhaps blocking off too much of our stuff. But we'll see, I guess. Um, we still gotta find our way into the anglerfish thing. But I think the stepping stone district was important as well, so let's do that. Oh, looks like the sand might be too high. This might also be the thing where we needed to pop, though. Yeah, look at this already. We needed to pop the scout in the anglerfish first to find out where we needed to go, and then come over here and find out. Find a path, you know? I think at this point I'm probably pretty fuckered. Let's see how far it lets us go. light. There's a light. That's good, I think. Or is this just another path to the outside? Which would be okay, too, honestly. Uh, okay, yeah, we've been here. This was, uh, kind of a residential area. Oh, yeah, actually, we just went all the way around. That one, I think, is either that door down there or another door that's already buried, so that's fun. I think that's actually the bottom floor, so that's, uh, that's a buried... Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> See, it started fine tonight, and then I have to fonz it back into position. I really wish it was just constant that I could figure out how to fix the damn thing, but such as it is, such as it is, oh well. It's never quite consistent in the way I need to fonz it back into working order either. It's just getting more annoying. There we go. Oh, no, that's fucked again. All right. Sometimes just replugging it works fine. Sometimes just giving it, giving it a little jiggle works fine. Never quite the same cable every time there. Okay, that's better. Uh, okay, well, either way, I think I'm owned here. This is just more of the kids writing, right? Something about the eye. Okay, yeah, they're talking about the eye of the universe, whatever. that. Oh, there's something else over here. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Right, um, is it in there? Oh yeah, it's just like straight up in here. Ugh. 
how close can I get before it decides to be like, no, nah, man. Oh, that close. <laughs> well, I, I guess either way, I kind of want to reset the day. So, uh, eh. <laughs> All right, I gotta get back to the city quick. Quickly, because I want to explore the either the bottom floor or the stepping stone thing. Before the sand gets too high, kind of blocks that off. Which, whatever, that's fine. Got an easy way back there. Um, all right, can we actually no mark it first? Uh, no, oh, it says it was already marked, but I don't think that carries over between loops. It seems like it would, but sometimes it doesn't, and sometimes it does. I don't know. Let's make sure it's marked. Twin for the oh, oh coming in hot. <laughs> when we get to Ash Twin real quick, it's like the entire thing is just sand. The entire little dillabop is just sand. All right, there's the thing I want to be at, anyways. Okay, right about there. Dillabop first, since it's all oh wow, it's all the way down here. Okay. My energy lab. Alright. Oh, knocked something over. Oh, we knocked the sign over. But then it rebuilt itself, which is fun. Okay. I imagine we just follow this. Extremely obvious glowing cable, and we'll get there. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, um, this might be a problem. <laughs> I just need to be on this side first. No! Oh. oh, for fucking sand. Alright. Mm -hmm. Unless I just need to wait for the sand to go up that far so we can just walk across. I don't think we're going to be able to boost through it the way it is. All right, so we, we don't need to rush to get over here.
So we have to wait for that anyways, it seems like. Well, if I had known that, I would have hung out by the trees to keep our oxygen up. Mm hmm. Hell, I probably have enough time to, to go back, refill, and then come back again. Well, maybe not, actually, if I fell down that main central area. It's going to be a bitch of a climb back up. Oh, well, maybe not, because there's this little thing here. Well, how far up does this take me? Not far enough. Okay, never mind. Never mind, I will just be patient. And wait for this to fill up. Uh, looks like it should be just about there, since we're seeing some sand in here now. Okay. Wait for it to fill up a little bit higher so we can get over the cacti. Fine. Oh, but it seems we've got limited options otherwise. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Um, okay. Um, uh, we're not getting through here? Oh, yes we are. Ooh, getting awful claustrophobic there. Okay. Alright, so now we're up here. Where is this? Oh, I imagine that's locked up with ghost energy. That's fine. Uh, hopefully this leads us into... Oh, it's uh, one of the warp pad dillabops, I think. Yeah, look at that. Uh... Okay, I mean, can we learn about this before we do something? Oh, okay. Well, it's a nice launch. Okay, so there's warp tiles and stuff. Um, I would love to learn if this is accessible from the surface. It kind of sort of is. Oh, there's lots to learn here, though. That's good. Okay. Um, Southern Observatory. As you're creating a 22 minute interval as possible, it has to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent. And the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Uh, energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. A uh, 22 minute long interval is possible. We are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Uh, necessary to invent a new method of producing energy. It's really an enormous undertaking. It also require advanced warp technology. Uh, enormous space to fit those proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be Ash Twin. Oh, okay. Currently available. Currently unavailable. Ha, ah, I see. Um, I believe it's, yeah, oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. Alright. I guess learn what we can while we're here. 
Uh, Ashton found one of our biggest undertakings. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and, and each location that holds crucial project materials. We used warp towers. Uh huh. Uh, I've been working on this immediately. Black Hole Forge, which I think we know where that is. Each tower in Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. Ooh, okay. As an imprecise thing, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. Uh huh. Design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. Okay. Giant steep tower could resemble a cyclone, and we could model the Timber Hearth Tower after a geyser mountain. Okay, I don't know. That's. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh. Sh sh sure. <laughs> I, I guess. Okay, yeah, that's the. Uh, that's Giant Steep. That one I'm not so sure about. That's Timber Hearth. That's the two twins. And that one's. Mm. Spiky death. Uh, Dark Bramble, right? Okay, yeah, oh, here's a door. Does this lead to outside? Oh, it sure does. Yeah. Oh, it's near the, um... Oh, but we couldn't get in because the, the door from this side was busted. Yeah, I see. Right, yeah, because we did see this before, but we couldn't get in there. That's right. Okay, I get it. I get it. Alright, well, good. There's still more stuff on the lower floor, I think, that we need to read. Okay, and now we're feeding energy in. Right, uh... Sure, let's do... That, and... Okay, I see. They're like little tiny ones. Oh, I see. Uh... Okay, that one's empty, I think. Yeah, some of these have energy and some of them don't. What do we have there? We've got a white... I guess we're gonna pair these up, right? Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh... Oh! That's intriguing. Interesting. Uh, I don't know if that's what I wanted. <laughs> ah, but we do need to pair them up, otherwise they don't do shit. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is probably the thing that would tell me, like, hey, yeah, go into the black hole and it'll teleport you to the white one, right? That's what we were... That's what we learned just kind of by science before, and now this is the actual science. The safe science telling us that's what the thing does. Interesting. Okay. Um... Yeah, I guess that's all we got there. where we first came in, right? Okay. And then here. There we go. I was looking for the other spot that we didn't read. I just don't know why I'm arriving at the warp receiver in Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the Whitehall Station. Experiment to the real phenomenon or simple machine error. <laughs> yeah, simple machine error for backwards time travel. Uh, the theory you want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the Black Hole and exiting the Whitehall at its destination. Uh, experiment setup will... First pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the white hole station. Okay, and so we just kind of did. Possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. Yeah, I mean, we sort of figured that bit out. All right, here we produce the anomaly in arrival and departure times. I was unconvinced it's more an equipment error. Strengthen the effect rendered visible the unaided eyes. Decided to try adding more energy. I mean, the Sunless City's energy supply is pretty sufficient. I guess that we let him know before we reroute energy. I need to leave him in the dark. Haha, I get it. Um, the other energy should be rerouted. We're about to run a new test. Okay, confirmed. Changes everything. Backwards, well, I guess backwards time travel would change a few things, right? But, uh that mean anything to me right now? 
I imagine it might. But. Hmm. Does that actually happen? I, I guess it lands before it gets into the black hole. That's interesting. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's neat. Not that that's terribly helpful here, but it might be good to know for other things. Um, all right, that might be all we're going to learn here. We learned about the warp bits, so the, the warp then the little tower things on Ash Twin are actually warp towers to, to other bits. So now that those are probably fully exposed, I would imagine, at this point. Where the hell's my ship? <laughs> there. It's all the way over there. Okay. Yeah, look at those things. So we know those are warp towers. We just need to be able to get to them somehow. I don't know that we're going to be able to. Alright, high energy lab. Learned about the Ash Twin Towers. Uh, so I visually drew blah, 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 blah. Towers allow the nomad to quickly travel between Ash Twin and all other locations crucial to the project. Okay. Um, temporal anomalies. Wanted to know if a 22 minute negative time interval was possible. Acquire new technology. And blah, 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 Ash Twin. That leads me to believe that perhaps we can reset the loop ourselves without dying. Since it is about a 20-ish minute loop, right? I'm very curious about that now. Um, and we need to go to Ash Twin anyways, right? Because that's the weird, like, memory storage thing is at the center of Ash Twin. Um... Okay, well, let's go to Ash Twin. It's just a brief hop away here, and it's mostly already uncovered. Alright, easy does it. Bonk! Okay, now, is there a thing? I know there's a bridge between them all, right? Oh, oh geez. Well, bye-bye, ship. Oh, bye-bye, me. Okay, I guess we're going back to Ember Twin. <laughs> no, okay, well, my ship can go back to Ember Twin. I am staying on Ash Twin. <laughs> That's funny. I guess there's a strong enough gravity well that, uh... Picks up the sand and put and hucks it over to Ember Twin, right? So that that does track. Oh yeah, and look, that's, there's one of the black hole cores there. Okay, intriguing. All right. So now, how do I get down a bit lower here? Do I just have to wait for the sand to drain away? See what some of these other towers. Oh, this this tower looks like it's busted as hell. Or maybe it isn't. Maybe it's made that way. Okay, this one we can actually climb down. Ugh, sort of. Um, did we read all these? Uh, first delivery, one warp core. Brittle Hollow. Okay, this is the one that goes to Brittle Hollow. I think we knew about this already. This this is one we did. But then how do we How do we trigger it? How do we use it? That's the real question I'm starting to have here. Cause there's the thing a ding there. Cool and good. But uh How do we get out of here? How do we turn it on? More. 
Because there's the warpy bit. Oh, we're about to get sucked into the sand again. I need to do that. Okay, there we go. So there's there's the like the warp tower receiver over there on Ember Twin we just saw roll by. Uh no, stay down here. Um How do the other warps work? Like, we had to wait to be lined up to something, and then we just kind of looked at it and it did the thing. Maybe that was just the white hole bit of it. Ooh, watch out for cactus. Don't touch cactus. Okay, there we go. Um, this one looks like the one for Timber Hearth, I guess. All right? Kind of like a little geyser ass pattern or something. Um, that one also has a little black hole bit to it. Uh, all right. But I didn't see a tower on Timberhearth that had this either, so... Maybe I'm just a fool. Oh, jeez. Maybe I'm just a fool. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, that's there's a hole in the ceiling. Got it. Uh... Okay, well... Oh, wait. I don't want to lock myself in here. <laughs> Alright, there must be another way to go, perhaps a little bit lower. Maybe once there's zero sand left here. Okay, so here's the bottom of one of them. Ah, there's nothing. Nothing here. So here we're all finished going over to Ember Twin there. Here's the... Okay, I think this is the receiving tower for Ash Twin. I think. It's the whole energy flashy bit down into the tower. Oh, yeah, because it's the two-pronged one for the, the other twin, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, because there's that. Well, that sun's getting real big. I think it's about, it's going to do an explode soon. Oh, there was a, there's a blank wall here. Um, is there not a scroll we could... Grab from somewhere. Maybe we already learned about this one. Well, let's see. Maybe there's something up here. Ah, there's a second floor. Oh, and then that goes up even further. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no. No. Stop. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, right here. Oh, yeah, there's a scroll there. Okay, give me that. Give me that, I want to learn. Okay. Uh, and now we can take this to the other side. Here. Plug it into a wall. Decrypt some text. You know, standard stuff. Uh, this is the Hanging City. We are planning the Ashton Project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin's Equator. Also, Ember Twin High Energy Lab is a building with the large solar panels. Okay. Otherwise, it's the clever family and lose his head for one Okay. Alright. Well, that doesn't tell me nothing! Damn it. Yeah, okay, that thing's about to blow up. Who was it that we should have talked to, uh, when it's about to go? Uh, 
uh, Chert, right? Chert on, um, not Giant Steep. Uh, I don't remember where Chert is. But okay, so there's the Ember Twin. Oh, that's right, Chert's on Ember Twin. Oh, 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 oh. Can we get to Ember Twin? Real quick. Where is it? <laughs> Uh, it's all the, all the way on the other side. I don't know that we've got the the jetpack fuel to get up there uh, without a little assist from um, the sandfall thing, which I think all the sand is gone. So uh, we might be SOL. We'll try it, though. Whoop. We're going up. Yeah, if you level critical, who cares? The sun's about to blow up anyways. There we go. I think we're in the gravity well. Chert, where are you? You're over there, right? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Kaboom. <laughs> hmm. Okay, interesting. So we learned about the warp towers on Ash Twin. Uh, this leads me maybe to check out the White Hole Station a bit more, because that might be where we warp to the other spots. Well, we'll see what we filled in here. We'll see what computer fills in how many of those things we've scoped out now. Will it tell me? Will it record what the various symbols mean for me? That would be nice. Uh, oh, okay, we learned a fat lot of nothing. Great. Uh, Alright. Black Hole Forge. We need to know more about this. What's oh, in the Hanging City? Oh, Hanging City is in Brittle Hollow. Right. Right, 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 right. Uh, okay. Yeah, so there's more to do there. Still need to figure out the anglerfish bit. There's still more in the Sunless City, apparently. Oh, probably the Stepping Stones district. Uh, Sun Station, which I think is in the closest orbit around the Sun, right? Uh, Whitehall Station, there's more to learn there. Uh, so we should head to Brittle Hollow and jump into the Black Hole. Or just fly into the Black Hole. I wonder what that's going to do, if we can fit our ship into it. Well, only one way to find out. Riddle Hollow. Which is over there. We don't hit Timber Hearth on the way through, please. Ooh, we are coming in hot. Uh, let's try not to slam into the... There we go. Uh, oh, are we going to have... Is there enough space to fly the ship into the crust here? Uh, uh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Boink. Okay. It might not have deconstructed enough that we can fly the ship down there. Oh, well, maybe, maybe not. Oopsie. There's plenty of space. All right, let's see what this does. Whee! Huh. There it is. Okay. We're here. Um. Where are we? <laughs> That's right. Uh, we are here, but uh, wasn't there supposed to be like some some structure around it? Or does that only happen once Brittle Hollow starts falling apart? Uh... Boy, that's trippy. That's a neat visual effect, but it's trippy as hell. Okay, here, what's that? Oh, 
Okay, yeah, there it is. That's the Whitehall Station. That's where I want it to be. I think. Yes. Uh, alright. Where's the entry point to this motherfucker? And where can I land? I'm going to land... Uh... Widest possible part. There we go. Right here. It's fine. Right here. Oh. Guess we should repair the hull while we're here. Whoa. There. Some repairs while we're here. Into the station we go. Well, hopefully that's anchored well enough. Okay, how did this work again? Fell through a black hole by accident, so return to your, uh, this warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Uh, tuned to a specific astral body, can only be used during its brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. Okay. I see. Must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. You look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Okay, I think... I think that's the bit I was missing on those other parts. There's also a projection stone here. Uh, what can I do with this? Can I do anything with this? Whoop. All right, let's go down. Here we go. Uh, uh, oh, right, this is how I rotate the bit. Whoop. Um, is there a platform thing I can drop this on. Or no, I had taken this with me. That's right. Now I'm starting to remember. Because then this rotates around. Um, apparently this is where we this is where we stand, right? And then once it aligns, we get warped back. Is that that's the deal? Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> ah, right. Okay. Pulls us back here to the center of those things, right? Okay, I get it. I remember now. Sort of. Whoa, kaboom. What was that? Oh, right, because there's that little volcanic thing ejecting shit onto this planet now. Um, I think there's a platform for this somewhere, though. I think. Well, alright, let's drop it there. Hanging City, okay, right. We, I, oh, well, can't get there from there. I do need to go back down to the Hanging City, though. Um, and I feel like we learned all of this stuff, right? Warp here from White Old Station, Warp Travel, blah, blah, blah. Oh, right, they were talking about the whole arrived before we left type bit, right? Ah, here we go. Okay, there's the tower on Ember Twin. It's all covered over in cactuses. This is. Oh, there's also another thing here. Does that? Does that do something different? All oh, right, let's just read something else. Uh, here's uh, where uh, slightly before departing. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Go to the high energy lab. Yeah, and they figured out reverse time travel and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I get it. Oh, apparently we did not read that. Just gave us a little update. That's fine too, I guess. 
Okay. Um, I guess we're back on Brittle Hollow. Wait, we're up at the North Pole. Did we need to be at the North Pole? Or was it the South Pole? I don't remember. I think it was either. Either one had stuff to do. Uh, warp receiver platform to activate warp. Uh, which we did. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where the fuck are we now? Oh, we're back to the, the white hole uh, thing. Weird. I don't think I wanted to. I guess it's a good way to refill oxygen, but. Alright, so let's wait for it to go back around. Okay. So I don't necessarily want to go back there, but I do now want to get to the Hanging City, which I don't think I'll be able to do from there. Find a way down that doesn't involve me falling into the black hole. There we go. Some, somewhere like that is fine. Whee! Perfect. Oof. Well, I didn't need that ankle. Okay. Uh, I guess I want to be on this side. All right. And there's this stuff. Uh, I think I've been to one of these. Maybe two of these. Meltwater, Eye Shrine, and Black Hole Forge. Uh, I do kind of want to be here, actually. There's lots, there's some stuff to explore. Uh, and that'll take me between them. Let's have a look around. I guess this goes up and down, yeah? Black Hole Forge controls? Uh, yeah, sure, turn it on. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> hmm, cool. Okay, it's going all the way up there. get back up there. <laughs> uh oh. Ah, uh, alright. Water. That's good. Necessary for life. That requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? Oh. Good ass question. I mean, they're making warp cores here, right? That was the whole deal. Oh, there we go. Solution two. Oh, we haven't heard solution one. Craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. Uh, well, we want to do that. Uh, like Old we'll Forge crew can recreate the basic design. It's the safest path. Safest path, the best one? <laughs> no, probably not. Uh, is it though? We've tried for so long to find something that we have a little impossible to find. Yada yada. yada. Okay. I don't have the design for such a powerful core, or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. Huh. Uh, the know who created the original designer, Black Hole Forge is adept at crafting simpler cores. Uh, vessel's warp core can be created before my time, and I'll explain many of his designs to me. Okay. Vessel's warp core in its casing. Oh, excuse me, my goodness. It means losing valuable knowledge. Uh, it's true. But we have little hope of recovering it. It would be best to relearn, I think. Oh, yeah, you know. It's something. They're trying. You can't fault them for trying. Huh. Is 
So solution two was to recreate the vessel's core, apparently. Well, solution one. There we go. We could retrieve it from the vessel. Require return to Dark Bramble. Hell yeah. Let's go back to that scary ass place. Uh, there's a little once discovered and studied an Anglerfish fossil in Ember Twin. <clears throat> Using that knowledge, we could avoid the Anglerfish entirely. Ooh, that sounds like, uh, good, good to know, honestly. Maybe we need to revisit that Anglerfish skeleton. Uh, Anglerfish fossil used to play the blah 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 when we were children. Uh, this fossil would theoretically help us evade the Anglerfish, but our hypothesis is never tested on a live specimen. Well, ha okay, okay, that seems like that's a priority. Uh, this warp core is broken at best. There's no guaranteed reward. I just could still repair it. If it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprints. Okay. Hmm. That's valuable info. So then back to Sunless City, we'll have to go. Strange and recreate a warp core. Still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice. Black Hole Forge would be my core, my care, not his. Chance to try is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, but one of excitement is clouded my assessment. Oh, wow. Anti Dunning Kruger right here. Is that wrong in volunteering to build it? It's born in the star system, never saw a warp core with my own eyes. My own three eyes. Okay, I guess that tracks, right? I don't know what he taught me, but what if I've bitten off a larger portion that I can consume? Oh boy. Um, so it always feels strange. Okay, yeah. All I can do is my best. Find another way to achieve what's needed. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Cool. Good, good pep talk. Good self pep talk there, buddy. Um, alright. Oh, well, this has been very informative. Um, but I feel like I should climb towards the the forge now that it's up there. Um, if I remember where it was. out on the surface here, huh? Oh, fancy. Oh, very fancy. Okay. Well, that's handy. I think then the forge was kind of going up to the surface over here, wasn't it? Is there the phantom moon that sometimes greet us? Oh yeah, the quantum moon thing. Um, shift in the light spectrum. Too shy to show us its face. Yeah, it, it disappears when you don't look at it. Uh, this here is uh, much like the Violet Friend Hollow's Lantern. It's not volcanic. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, seems to travel as it likes. There are two volcanic moons, no thanks. Um, there can exist too much lava. <laughs> ah, very good. Okay. Um, well, there's the warp stuff over there, and I guess we've now identified a shortcut down into, uh, the city here. Just go down to this water channel. That's nice. That's handy. Um, okay, can we still... Hmm. Make sure we've read all we can here. Yeah, because there's the three walls there. Uh, okay. Uh, we moved the forge up there. That's what I was looking for. So let's see if we can get up there all the way. I guess since we moved it up now, we can go directly to its symbol. Which I think was this one, or was it the one slightly up above? Yeah. Um, actually, let's pop out here. Does it re-describe the things? 
No, but that's alright. Uh, okay. We can go up to here. Oh, no we can't. That one's blocked. Shit's blocked. This one, I think, was clear. Uh, mm, sort of. Uh, 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 oh, 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 oh. Okay, uh. Um, boy. Okay. Ah! are busted. Um, the sun about to do is going to explode. It seems to be glowing an awful lot. It's just my imagination. Uh, okay, well, let's get as high as we can, and then we'll see if we can walk around a bit. Eye Shrine. There perhaps another path upwards. Like here. Like there. Uh, is that close to where I need to be? I hope. Squiggle over there. Can we read this one? Ew. What is the eye of the universe? Older than the universe. Cosmic library. Advanced being. Source of the signal that brought us here. Not gonna be older. I mean, it's a relic. Uh, okay, no, we did read this stuff before. I think. Uh, turn its age or lack of age. Maybe it speaks a language we don't know. Maybe we weren't meant to intercept the signal. Yada yada. Uh, okay, no, maybe we didn't read this stuff. As uh, soon as we followed here to find its source, uh, the source of the signal just chosen to call the eye of the universe is older than the universe itself. We don't know anything else. Blah 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 blah. Okay, um, I need to go higher. Try and go higher. Well, I believe as I did, child number twin that the eye of the universe it wishes to harm us, but it may not want to be found either. It's probably apathetic to your concerns, honestly. Uh, the terrible circumstances of our arrival were almost certainly exactly that circumstance. Like imagining that we are special, the eye in some ways wishful thinking. I might have called out to any sentient species, or it might not have been calling out at all. May have just been broadcasting for no particularly good reason. May not have any intent. Right? But I guess as sentient, sapient species, we are probably more or less hard-coded to find intent the things that have none. Uh, I mean, if wishes at all, I have no evidence supporting this. Hey, look at that. Good read. <laughs> Okay, I've already lost track of where that uh, black hole forge is now. I feel like perhaps uh, I'm not going to be able to get to it from here anyways. So I can't get any higher here, I don't think. Oh, well, it's sort of over there. Uh... Yeah, it's like over there, but I don't have a means to get up there. I mean, unless... Unless I'm supposed to, like, just fucking... <sighs> Not sure what to do here now. Because that one's all busted up. I think this one's also busted up, right? I can't... 
Yeah. There's no no way to bypass that that I know of. Uh, the other option, I suppose, is just to try to climb on the outside, but I don't know if I've got the... Oh, can we not mountain goat that? Ugh. Or Skyrim horse it, as the case may be. It might be too steep of an incline. Hmm. So then I wonder if we can just recall it down to the bottom and then jump in the top. There's another way down from the top. Well, okay, it's pretty much directly under the North Pole, it seems. Um, let's go back to well, with as much time left as we've got in this in this loop here. Let's go back to Meltwater here, climb our butts to the surface. Or, I think this is the right, oh, maybe it's the other side. Uh, actually, I want to be over there, too. Is there a... Maybe there's a way we can get over there. Go back the other way. Oh, yeah, that thing's looking more and more red giant-ish. That comet's about to impact it and, uh... Blow it the fuck up, so I don't think we're gonna have enough time to do what I want to do here. Uh, I would like to go then probably here. Mm. Climb up here as best we can. Read all of this stuff, though. Oop. Uh, I feel like there's another, you know, maybe over there. Nope. Okay. Oh, uh, what was it? Tweaking on there. Oh, probably that, which we already saw. Oh, that was the thing like embrace the eye of the universe learn about it blah 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 now we, we just read that okay well this is as high up as we can get on this section back over there. Uh, yeah, there's definitely no way to get there. Shit. Well, I mean, the other option is to try to warp in up there, I guess. But I don't think I can do that from Whitehold Station. That only goes back to Brittle Hollow here on the surface. It does seem like that is a legit warp point, though, which makes me very, very curious. Okay. Oh, well. Headed into the black hole the way it is. Whoop. Which, our ship is sort of here. But, doesn't matter. Kaboomzos, we're probably dead. Whoa! At least die in the comfort of our own ship. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Okay, well, many things learned, I guess. Probably want to head back to Brittle Hollow right away. Try to get into the Black Hole Forge. Or head back to Sunless City, learn the secret of the anglerfish fossil thing, learn how to avoid them, and then head back to Dark Bramble. Either of those seem like fruitful endeavors. Gravity cannon. Uh, the vessel we've kind of learned a bit about. Oh, there's some more new stuff here. Warp core broken. The ship crashed in Dark Ramble. Yeah, we kind of already knew that. Uh, found a switch in Meltwater District. It raises and lowers Black Hole Forge, which we need to know about. Probably need to go back to, right? So let's mark that. Uh, Anglerfish fossil we need to check out again, so that means we need to go back to Sunless City. Uh, okay, suspended below the hanging city, uh, advanced warp core, etc., etc. We haven't learned anything new about the Ash Twin Towers. Um, oops. Negative time interval is incredibly minuscule. Roughly one hundred thousandth of a second, huh? Okay. Even so, good to know. Uh, Phantom Moon, etc., etc. We still haven't found the Quantum Caves bit. Uh, this is up at uh, Ember Twin, right? North Pole. North Pole? North Pole, yeah. Um, okay. Well, let's uh, keep going to Brittle Hollow here. Get into the Black Hole Forge. Oh, for God's sake, autopilot. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> oh, fine. Let's repair shit and try this again. Ah. Uh. that we needed to repair from that. <laughs> that was the dumbest bonk I've ever seen. Okay, now we're good. Alright. Try this again. Head towards the North Pole. We know there's the, the shortcut through the little melty water bit. about up here. Or is that the South Pole? That's the South Pole, because that's the Southern Observatory, right? Alright, other side of the planet. There, yeah, because it was near the... It was near the, the warpy bit there. Okay, um, I think it was, wait, wasn't it, it was near flowing water, I thought. Yeah, here we go, perfect. Alright, so back in we go, and we need to be here anyways to, uh, to lower the bit, right? We can 
and see if um, perhaps we can lower it and then maybe get on top of it. Uh, okay. Controls were... I think somewhere around here? Yeah, it was over here. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so the thing is there. And then I want to... Try to get my butt out there as it's raising up. Eh! Oh, oh, the fucking piece of ice! Oh no! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Both my ankles. Oh, fuck. Alright, that's fine. Um, boy, how the fuck do I get in there? Uh, Outer Wilds has been good. This is fun. This is a nice, like, little chill exploratory thing where we die horribly in 20 minutes or so. Um, if I don't, you know, somehow get murdered prior to that. Uh, okay, so... I'm gonna go up to... I think it's the... No, I think it's here, right? Whichever one's the meltwater. Yeah, this it's this one. Because uh, this is where the controls were. Uh, over there. I'm curious if I just lower it back down and then try to jump on top of it. Like, let's look out as it's coming down be like, hey, is there a thing that we can just gently land our fragile bodies onto? Eh, sort of. Whoop. Okay. Uh, I think we can make that jump. Hup. Whoop. Okay, well, I was hoping there would be like a hatch or something that we could go in, but... This might just put us into the black hole, which, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, because sitting right on top of it. Fuck! Alright, well. That's fine. We can just re put it on. Uh, um, okay, where's the actual. Ow! Or is that just part of the part of the crust that warped through? Or is that the actual station? No, that's part of the crust. Damn it. Where's the actual white hole station? <laughs> so we can warp back. There it is. Found it. Um, I don't think it's procedurally generated. It doesn't appear to be so. We just reset every uh 20-ish minutes or so. Ooh, coming in hot! Ouch! <laughs> uh, Alright. We gotta get back to the ship and heal up. <laughs> okay, which means we need to uh, go down here, activate the BIP. Back up top, wait for it to align, get warped back, get back to the ship, etc, etc. Alright, where's our ship? Not too far away. Ooh, coming in hot. Oh! <laughs> too hot. <laughs> uh. Mm. Oops! <laughs> ah, that's alright. Okay. Um, I don't know that we learned anything new in that one, but, uh... So we can't, uh, whip our fragile meatbag bodies around as much as we can our, our spaceship. I guess that's what we learned.
But even still. Alright, let's go back to Brittle Hollow. Try to get back to the... Uh... The, uh, Black Hole Forge thing. Anyway, that didn't fill in anything else, did it? It did. Okay. Hopefully this time... Autopilot will see fit not to fucking slam us back to Timber Hearth. And it's about to do it. Oh, oh, because we never left the atmosphere. Ah! <laughs> okay, turn off autopilot. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, where is it now? All the way to fuck up there. There it is. I guess while we're on the surface, we should see if there's another little tiny bit that we can go through and get into the forge once we raise it up. Uh, okay, which one's the North Pole? This one here, right? Yeah. Let's make a quick, quickie flyby here and see if there's like a a little spot we can get through. Doesn't look like it. I suppose the other option is we take the ship in there. Which honestly might not be a bad idea. Alright, let's let's do that. Let's find uh, a spot that we can take the take the ship in. I think there's a, a hole large enough near the gravity can. There we go. Perfect. Or near the little warpy bit. Okay. There's fine. Uh, nope. Careful. Okay, right there. That's fine. Um, but not go into the black hole because we don't need to do that. I need to find. Okay, there's the city. That's perfect. There's the black hole forge. Also good. We need to land this motherfucker right here. Right here. There we go. Plenty of space. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, and we might as well fix it over here. I guess, huh? Starboard hull. Uh, starboard is right, right side as we're, yeah, right there. Looks all beat to hell. Hey, yeah, perfect. Okay, uh, let's raise this motherfucker back up and maybe we can land the ship somewhere a little bit higher. Uh, Mount Water is number two, yeah? Oh, that's perfect. Right where we're at. Okay. Squonk. That raises it up. Mayhaps there's a platform. Or maybe we can just land it on the forge itself. That would be kind of fun. <clears throat> Put all those hours of lunar lander practice into uh, into effect here. That's probably exaggerating a bit. I did not play lunar lander for hours. Actually, no, that's not true. I did. <laughs> I totally did. All right. Um. So where where is it? It is over this way. Ooh. Okay. A little bit of maneuvering. Alright, uh, oh, no, too, too, too narrow? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we stuck. Uh-oh. I think we stuck. <laughs> Alright, turn. Wiggle. Uh-oh, I think I'm really stuck. <laughs> Damn it. Uh... Can't activate. Oh yeah, we really wedged in there. <laughs> oh fuck, we're not getting any wiggle out of it now. Da ah, crap. Ah. Fuck. All right. Here's what maybe I can do. Let's open the hatch. Let's get out of there. Oh, oh that drops us way down. Okay. Ah. Uh, 
Can I get back up there? Okay, let's go like right here. Oh god, just a little bit shy. Oh no. Ah, oh, man. Okay, uh... Fuck. I'm trying to just get up to that platform. <laughs> I don't think I have enough. I got enough booster juice to get up there. Uh, uh oh. Alright, you know what? Fine. reset this day <laughs> by repeated leg trauma oh well that's not the way to do it this would be a, a terrible way to go I need my ship back I can't do anything with it when it's wedged the way it is <laughs> This is definitely just all my fault. Yeah, vital's critical, I get it. Just fucking... Oh man, come on. <laughs> One more? One more should do it. Oh, well, wow, that wasn't it. Ah. Uh. Oh. Ah, man. I suppose I could just... There we go. Just, uh... There we go. <laughs> really shattered on leg bone. Hmm. Mm hmm. Well, I like the idea of just piloting the ship in there, but I think once I raise the, the forge, I have to find another way to it. Hmm. 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 All right. Leave the atmosphere before engaging autopilot. I think this is what we have learned. And maybe get like a good angle on it first, too. So that autopilot doesn't take us back into Timber Hearth's atmosphere. There we go. and easy. Uh, oh, I wanted to actually get uh, under the crust anyways. Which is right about there. Okay. So, I mean, there's enough of a platform to land on that gets us right near the controls. I'm okay with that little bit of it. Alright, easy. Easy. Oop. Too, too much, too much, too much. Bring it back. There you go. Nice little nudge. Perfect. Okay, we're in. Um, there's the black hole thing itself. Uh, and then the... Where did I land this? Just more over... Oh, like there's a... There's a whole thing... Oh, whoa, excuse me. Ah. Uh, Okay, no, 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 just under there. Where did I land this thing the first time? I think maybe I just need to pull it a bit lower and then go up there, right? That seems fine, but where did I land this thing the first time? It was like up there. There we go. 
That's what I was looking for. Okay, right here is fine. Bonk. Okay. Doop 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 boop 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 boop. right spot anyways yeah okay and there's the entrance to the control room okay so bonk then I think we can just maybe Let's get back into the ship and not get it wedged this time. Okay. Um, so now it went. Uh, where did it go? where we came in. Ooh, careful. I want to go there. Okay, it's over here. Right? It went up that away. Out of the bit, up to the kind of the surface bit there. Is there another... Okay, yeah. Here, we could land up here. There we go. Right here. Perfect. Uh, well, perfect-ish. Just had to look around a little bit more. All right. And now it's up there. Uh. Oh wait. Did we just land pretty much at the same spot. Sure as fuck did. <laughs> Damn it. Ah. Uh, okay. Um. Maybe I can go up there. Okay, I need to be like... I need to go down a little bit and then get up into that center bit. Let's not lose... Not lose track of where it is, but just kind of down a little. There you go. And then up. Okay. Uh, uh oh. Are we caught in the gravity well here? No? Okay. It's fine. Okay. Smile it around here. There you go. Perfect. Sort of. There you go. Okay. Alright. Good? We're good. Alright. Now we're kind of in the interior. There's the thing itself. I need to now put this down somewhere. Uh preferably somewhere above where we were at earlier. Uh, I think if we set it down there. Ooh, careful. Easy. Easy. Steady. No, that's not. That's not good, actually. So that's where we were able to get to before. Was there not a there was like a small platform that we could get up on. The other option is to try to get to that warp pad up there. Or, alternatively, <laughs> alternatively, and this is a fucking dumb idea, but I'm gonna probably try to do it anyways, is to wedge it in such a way and then rotate around that we're able to uh, eject ourselves out onto the ceiling there. Okay, I think I have to go like, and then, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, oh, okay, this is good, this is good. Uh, no, 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 stop trying to, stop trying to autocorrect my fucking heading. Stop, there we go. Okay, perfect, this is good, this is good. This is good right here. Okay. Uh, no, 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 stop. Stop trying to auto level. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, alright. Zerp. 
There we go. Perfect. Right there. All right. Just land. Oh my god. <gasps> okay. Right there. Perfect. No. Stop. 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 Please. Please do a land. <laughs> We did it. <laughs> there. <laughs> exactly as intended. Uh, all right, where are we? Black Hole Forge. Um, we're here. So now I'm super curious. What did they want me to do? They probably wanted me to somehow warp to this thing. Because right here is where it would have put me. But I obviously don't want to do that right now. Oh my god! No! No! <laughs> oh crap! Oh fuck! <laughs> oh, why was I, why did I, why was I so curious? Oh fuck! Uh, damn it! Ugh. Well, I think I'm proper fucked there. Is that a part of Brittle Hollow's crust there? Is that the White Hole Station? That's part of the crust. Where the fuck is the... Uh... I think either way I'm probably toast. But okay, we know it's possible though. It just takes a little bit of a little bit of finesse. A little bit of finagling. A little bit of gumption. A strength of will. Okay, can I just like why is there no like remove helmet button? So we can stop this. Is there just a way? No, they don't let you. <laughs> they don't let you. Okay, where's the actual, like, the station bit around here, though? Because, uh, I could at least attempt to, to warp back. Now I'm, like, getting confused by all the debris that's already floated through. I suppose I could just activate all boosters, right, and drain our oxygen. Whee! <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. Okay. Uh. I've got, like, a little... Oh, I suppose that's just a little... A little gravity bit so you can... <clears throat> latch on to the thing and walk into the, the little entry point. There we go. <laughs> oh wait, was that enough? I heard the crack. There we go. Okay, that's good. Alright, so definitely not the way they intend me to do it. But you know what? I'm gonna do it anyways. Because I'm a stubborn some bitch. And if I can do it once, I can do it again. a matter of uh, being persistent. <laughs> what are they going to do? Ban me? That's right. Just try to ban me from this single player game. I dare you. Uh, funny. Okay. The actual way to do it is probably pretty dull and boring. So the way I see it, this is the more exciting way to do it.
Oh shit, I locked on the, hol the hollow's lantern thing. I didn't want to do that. I wanted a brittle hollow. There we go. Alright, coming in a little hot here. We want to find uh, a crack in the crust where the cannon is, or the warp bit is. I think it's there. Okay. Nice and easy now. Okay. And we want to land up on this thing. Right? I think. Land here first. Hit the control room. Um, raise the, the black hole forge till a bop up, and then get back to the ship and stubbornly point it upwards until we can turn it around and land on the underside of the crust. Just like before, and then do not go exploring. Stick to the bits with the, with the extra gravity on it. And, uh, and get to where we want to be. That's the plan. That's the plan. Okay. So in order to do this, we need to kind of find where it is. And it was not over there, not there. Where even was the son of a bitch now? Uh, not that. There. No. No, because that's how we got to the, the hanging city the first time. How did I lose the... Oh, here. Here? No. Okay. Well, we'll find it. So there's the bridge. Okay, yeah, there's the rails. Okay, so now we gotta just very carefully ease our way up here. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Then ease our way into the bit here. And up here. And then we can kind of wiggle our way here. And then and then and then kind of let's do that. That wait for the gravity to kick in, sort of. Oh god! All right, right about there. No, okay, okay, it's right there. Or shit, did I wedge myself on this one? I think I did. Okay, right there. Let's wedge ourselves free. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, uh, uh. caught on the trees a little bit. There we go. Right there. Okay, angle up. Right there. Okay, oh, trees. Trees again. Get around. <laughs> okay, right. Right there. Okay, I think that's... Stable enough. <laughs> Alright, perfect. We got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Black Hole Forge, right. We knew that. Um, just stay on the marked path. <laughs> stay on the gravity plating. That's uh, that's what we've learned. Oh, we've got another little platform bit there. Oh, a couple of them actually. Okay. Okay. Cautious near the boarding area while the black hole forge is in operation. Well, it's already here. I think we're fine. Maybe. Yeah, see? No problem. Oh, look at this. Okay, yeah, plenty of stuff to learn here. We got a couple little 
projection stone bits. Oh, this is the uh one of the other statue bits. Okay, but its eyes aren't lit up, so it's not active. All right, where am I taking this first black hole core? Where am I taking the remaining cores? Uh, white hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations. Those deliveries will be a greater pain in the back, in the ass, whatever. Uh, tower designs in the high energy lab on each receiver's location. Okay. Uh, all the warp towers are being constructed in Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. Okay, so Ash Twin is the hub. I think we knew that. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin just to make sure he receives it. Yeah, uh huh. Okay. And hey, he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs. So that one of the warp towers in Ash Twin will never activate because its warp receiver will never align overhead. Uh, I think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver. Does he not know that a warp tower always aligns at the center of its corresponding astral body? Uh, this isn't an unreasonable belief, given the receiver does have to be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. <clears throat> That's your understanding, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, they're having a little argument here. Uh, he understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realize hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point between them. I think we kind of knew that. Oh. Well, that's... Cool? What, is, what does that mean? And warp tower is an ash twin. Does each tower have to be perfectly aligned at the center of the astral body to which it's tuned? Uh, precision's good, but... Tower's base would shift even slightly. The tower might no longer align. <coughs> We're not going to enjoy precision and blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah. Continuing their argument from earlier. Uh, I don't need the alignment angle to be exact. It only needs to be within five degrees of the astral body center. This gives a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. Uh, any stepping out of the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. You need to be careful around the platform for the duration of the time it's active to avoid accidental transportation. Transportation? Transportation. Yeah, I guess that tracks, huh? So what the, what the hell is this one for? Ooh. Oh. Doesn't stay active. That was like a Maybe a one second. That was several seconds. Somebody lied to me. <clears throat> okay. Um, where was that? Oh, here. There's just this one here. Grab that. That was the little thing, I think, just out here, right? Yeah, there we go. Good news! The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. I'm intrigued. Everyone here is working on the Ash Twin project. Is excited to see it. Um, no, it isn't. What do you mean, no? What? What's it? Oh, the advanced warp core is ready. No, it's not. Um, is everything well at the forge? Core's durability could still be improved, need more time. Um, core's finished, and blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is nervous, core's extraordinary, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, very good. Oh, and then there's another thing here. Whoa. Oh, it's the central bit again. Okay. So again, one, two, three. Um, one of them we know is Gabro, right? One of them is us. There's still the mystery third. But this is supposedly at the center of Ash Twin, right? So maybe something we can visit soon-ish. Okay, uh, was there anything? Because I don't want to do the whole ship fly bit to get in here again. Let's make sure we got everything the first time. There. Did both of those. Um, we found the additional thing. Does it matter if I take a picture of this? Probably not. But it's not active because the eyes aren't open and glowy and whatever. 
Okay. Yeah, I think that's about it, isn't it? So that would be my... Oh my goodness, excuse me. <clears throat> my initial question was, like, how the fuck were we supposed to get here? Because clearly I, I gave no fucks about the actual intended solution and figured out a way on my own. Um, I think my guess remains that it's probably the warp bit that we were supposed to use. Um, there's also a thing... Oh, jeez, that's kind of upside down. Uh, I don't know if I want to risk that just yet. Oh, right, because this was the busted-ass towers that we couldn't use to get up here. So then the other bit would be the warp bit there. Um, okay, so technically this is still gravity plating here. If I go through this, where the fuck is this going to take me? Is it going to take me somewhere? No, because this is a receiving pad, not a... Not a warping pad. Although I guess we'll just we'll hang here for a hot second and uh, give it like a minute or two and see what, if anything happens. Because the other one at um, at the brittle hollow surface did this, right? When we stepped on it, it put us back to the white hole station. So I'm curious if eventually this will do that as well. And if that's the case, like how the fuck would I have gotten to this warp pad to begin with? Since it almost certainly would have affected uh, the one on the... It would have taken me to the one on the surface first, right? Hmm. Even if this doesn't work, I guess there's nothing more for us to do here. It's probably pretty well timed too, because we're about at the. Mm, excuse me, we're about at the end of the evening, anyways. Which is good. I mean, we made some progress at the very least. Learned about the warp bits that the anglerfish thing in uh, Sunless City will tell us how to avoid them in Dark Bramble, somehow. And that gives us a, a couple things to do for next time. How's the, uh, how's the sun looking? Oh, it's looking a little red. A little red. Although, I guess that's only the first orbit of the comet, huh? So we're about halfway. We did get here pretty quick, so... We probably got about... Maybe eight, nine minutes for this run, for this, uh, loop, right? And this thing hasn't kicked off yet either, so I imagine that's not going to do a thing ever now. It does make me curious what that thing in the forge was talking about, though. That little extra bit. What was the light about? What was it for? What was it telling us? And we did both of those, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's there, it was lit up, but we definitely waited for it to make its entire cycle there, right? So it's not like we missed that. I guess while we have the last few minutes of this run, curious, one, if I can wiggle my ship free, and two, if we can go land on uh, Hollow's Lantern just for Grinzies. That seems a good cap to the eve, huh? Okay. Let's 
wiggle free. Okay, well, we weren't really restricted very much there, were we? Oh, now there's plenty of egress points since the crust is failing here. That's fine. Okay, where is... Hollow's Lantern now. I want to go give it a... Give it a old flyby. There it is. And I doubt there would be any... Well, there is kind of like, like a safe spot to set down there. Like, would we be able to find a... Something of value on this little tiny piece of shit? Oh, I'm curious. Yeah, like right there. That's the only fucking reasonable landing spot, really. Let's just try to take it down nice and easy. Is that flat enough, maybe? Hard to, hard to tell, honestly. There. Uh, can't tell if solidly anchored on surface. Probably fine. Yeah, good enough. Oh yeah, actually, all three uh, pads are down. Okay. Well, uh, is there? I mean, it's giving us the little planet view there. Is there anything of value here, maybe? Take a false step here. Go check out a couple of the volcanoes. Ooh, coming in sorta of hot there, that's fine. go inside? I mean, that seems ill-advised, right? Yeah, nothing much in there, is there? Ooh, okay. <laughs> seems like it's just a big old ball of molten rock, or iron, or whatever the fuck this is composed of. <clears throat> Not anything of particular informative value here. Whoop, kaboom. Here, may as well check it out. Yeah, it's, it's like the volcanoes are really just really nothing of value here. I guess it's just this little tiny orb. Not much else. back down to the surface. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Well, I mean, while we're here, right? Okay. Uh, what's our signal scope? That? This should be nice and warm, right? Could be down with living here. Situations. Is there, I mean, aside from the quantum moon, is there anything of immediate importance to this here? There it is. One of them, anyways. There's another one on Giant's Deep. That's interesting. Several things going on. Oh, the Cave Shard? Yeah, okay. Uh, there's something else 20k away. Hmm, many things to check out. Zero G 
is hard sometimes. There we go. No problem. Hmm. Okay, well... Did we learn enough maybe to go, uh... Father Feldspar a little bit? Alignment angle. Okay, did do a little bit about an alignment angle thing. Not exact. Five degrees to the astral body center. Slightly longer warp windows. Blah, 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 bleep. Um, it lines the center of its astral body. Uh, warp procedure must be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. Our glass twins are so close together, fungal function as a single one. Shared alignment point. Warp towers should be constructed on ash twin. Six warp receivers were being constructed at different locations. Wait, warp receivers. I figured that would have been the opposite way around. Uh, hmm. Okay. Well, I guess that's that kind of sorted. We're done with the Hanging City. Uh, we still got that to do. Sunless City is probably next on our list. Um, and somehow making it to the center of Ash Twin. And or uh, going back to Dark Bramble, trying to figure out how to get under the surface, the deeper surface of uh, Giant's Deep as well. And we already figured this out, didn't we? <clears throat> oh, right. Uh, there was probably one of them seed thingies on Timber Hearth, right? Which would explain why uh, we could get the harmonica signal on Timber Hearth. That's probably the deal there, and okay, Feldspar. We've got. Let's go bother Feldspar. We've got some time in this in this loop yet, right? Oh, not too much time. That's looking very red. Well, how fast can we fly? Ah, uh, but there's. Oh shit! <laughs> All right, it's fine. I'm not going to bother repairing it. We're fine. Okay. Oh, except our autopilot's gone. Ah, it's fine. We can bring it in manually. Interesting that there's two duplicate signals, though. What, maybe one of them's on Timber Heart? That would be fun. That's probably the one over in Dark Bramble. I wonder if this one is the... Uh, oh, yep, that's the one marked on Timber Hearth. Interesting. Okay, let's... Maybe let's try to scope that one. You can never... Figure out space flight. There we go. We've got like maybe two minutes to attempt this. Oh, coming in real hot. Or maybe even less than that. Oh, bonk! <laughs> okay, like, I don't. Oh, yeah, hey, look at that. There's the, there's, there's the seed itself, huh? That's wild. All right. Um, I guess we'll just kind of put down right here. Since everything's gonna do an explode anyway. Oh, there's somebody out here. Hey, what's up, Tektite? Ain't you a monster in the old Zelda universe? Um, yeah, saw something crash with horizon, didn't like it. Um, what crashed? A plant seed, but it's not anything about blah, blah, blah. You're quite the explorer, it's extraterrestrial. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, like, look at this path of some moral hell and some messing around later. No one can remove an unwanted plant past the tree keeper. Uh, get a look inside, blah, blah, blah. Scout launcher, yeah, we figured that out already. Um,. You're sure it's not from Timber Hearth? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we know that. Uh, launch mode. 
Oh, we got a got a, a, a log entry from just doing it from here. Uh, keep help keep. Well, doesn't matter. Kaboom. <laughs> Alright. Good. Good, we have done a learn. And or probably closed out that entry about Feldspar's harmonica thing coming from Timberheart. That probably would have been the natural way to find out where he was, where his campsite was, right? Okay, good. Well, well timed, at any rate, well timed. Um, because we will call it there for today. Uh, yes, reset loop and continue, or quit to menu rather. Uh, okay, good, good. We're still making progress, which is good as always. Um, but that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. CDT. It'll be Shmup Book Club, so more of, um... Why I always draw a blank when I'm trying to think of these things. Uh, either Super Hydra or Radiant Silver Gun. And then... Shit, what's our normal monthly Shmup? can't fucking remember it for the life of me. There's there's one for a month of May that I don't remember. Um, so that's tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. CDT. We're off uh, Friday, Saturday. So then next stream after that will be Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT. It'll be long play. R-Type Leo, thank you. My goodness, I could not think of that at all, Firestrong. Thank you. R-Type Leo is the, the monthly for May. Uh, but then Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT, it'll be long play. So more Noita. We'll see if we can line up the first person mod for Noita for this Sunday. That should be fun and or terrifying or maybe both. Who knows? Um, but then next Monday, 7 p.m. CDT, we'll be back here with Outer Wilds. More stuff to explore and things to learn and probably ways to die. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.